Hey there, friends. Thanks for checking in. New from Beretta 2024 is the 92 GTS. It has some features here that are a bit different. First off, it has this decocker, a frame-mounted decocker right there. See that? It has this two-tone look to it. But it's called the GTS because the G is the type of decocker and the TS are twin sears that allow the decocker to work with a frame mounted system like that. And then that is something that was highly requested by many of the Beretta fans. They said, we want a decocker, we want it frame mounted. So that's why they came out with the Beretta 92 GTS. Now, this one doesn't have an optic, but it is optic ready when I shot it. I shot with an optic on there and it was awesome. I really enjoyed it. And I had the 92X Performance, but this one's optic ready, coming in right around a grand. They have another one in all black. I wanna bring that out. But this has a walnut grip. It may look a little polymer-ish that's coated or colored in walnut. No, this is a true walnut grip. 18 round magazines, an extended magazine release. Okay, there's the Magwell three-slot pick rail, two-tone, fiber optic front sight, serrated black rear sights if you don't run the optic. I would definitely run an optic based on what I just experienced over in the other range that you could hear going on behind me. This range here that I'm standing at is cold. Nothing going on here. But I am so impressed. Now let's check out this trigger. This thing is breaking. The single action has to be breaking. I don't have my trigger scale here, but I have to say around three and a half pounds with a reset right there. All right, little bit of a take up right there. And then it breaks. It, it feels really light. It feels extremely light. And I love the way the Breda 92X performance performs. And I love the way this thing operates so far. And having the opportunity to shoot some rounds, I really enjoyed it. And I think the twin sear concept is cool, which allows the frame mounted decocker. Awesome. And here's how the optic plates will attach to the frame. You can see that it curls around that thin area and it attaches with those two bolts, which then attach the optic. This is a Steiner MPS, all right? But it, it's, strange looking system but once you see it in action like this you can now understand how that operates and how sturdy that optic will be once mounted on the 92 gts let me get the black one because it's coming in a little bit less expensive than this that's going for right around a thousand dollars Here is the black model. This one comes in right around 750. And it is, I, I showed with the other one, it's optic ready, but you see those two bolts right there? That's where you would attach a plate and then install the optic. It also has an aluminum frame, which I didn't mention with the two-tone model. Aluminum frame, and this one has polymer grips, aluminum all throughout. There's a look at the front strap and the back strap. Nice overall feel, 4.7 inch barrel. Fiber optic front sight, optic ready. You look at this and you say, there's no way that you can put an optic on there because this area is so thin. But when you look at those two bolts right there, you can understand how a plate would work just fine. But if we look at the trigger once again, we will see it's pretty short with a reset right there. I think you'll be seeing this one a little bit more on the channel because I think it's cool and I really like the way it shoots. There's a look at it. New from Beretta, 2024, the 92 GTS. You'll be seeing some SHOT Show videos, but this one came to you right from the range. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.